Hi. Welcome to Atlas AI Dev YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about how to select the proper player for text to speech plugin. Uh, we have four player for audio player for text to speech plugin. Some of them are in the free version, some of them are in the pro version. So we have the player default, default pro. Uh, this is for the pro version. Google TTS Pro, this one also for pro version. And another one is Google Cloud Text to Speech. So we will discuss uh, every one of them how to select uh, which one in which situation so if you are in free version though i am in the pro version uh, if you are in free version then you can only select this one uh, and right now i select the default one and now here it says now go to the listening menu and select the proper language and voice so after select after every time you change the player you have to go the listening menu and change set up your voice and language properly because uh, this voice language and voice to speak always depend on uh, by this these players uh, because when you choose uh, change from uh, this one to this one or from this one to this one then uh, the voice language and voice to speak uh, changes so every time you change uh, go to the listening menu and change uh, set up the language and voice properly so after changing, uh, after saving the default player, uh, it says uh, this will be uh, this notice will be shown only the pro users, not the free users, because our plugin is supported with the PPML and G Translate plugin. So, if you want to use this player, then it will not work with WPML and G Trusted plugin mm, but uh, this this information will be shown only for pro users so I'm in the pro version that's why it uh, showing this uh, notice so for the pro users uh, the recommendation is uh, default pro that's why it's showing but I'm uh, creating this video for pre-version or pro-version pro as well as. So let's go to the listening menu and I selected the ENUS and the voice would be, I changed, the voice will be UK Great Britain female. So save it. Here another thing that uh, voice speech, voice speed, voice volume. These three options will only work with this player, these two player, default and default pro. Uh, otherwise, uh, these three options will not work. I would recommend uh, users to leave them as it is uh, if you don't understand properly though please don't change it and you can get information about this here when you hover on this uh, question mark button that means help button so i save it and let's see how it behaves yeah you can see that a player is come here Hello world. Welcome to WordPress. And you can see that uh, the player is uh, playing 
properly as we set up. So if you want to change the voice for like uh, UK mail, go and do this. There will be no problem. Hello world. Uh, this is how you can change. So let's see another player. Go to the customization menu and select the default pro. The difference is uh, between default and default pro will be the design, nothing else. Sorry, ah, uh, design as well as uh, the support for WPML and G Translate plugin. So if you are in the pro version and you are selecting the default and default, default pro player, then it will support for WPML, G Translate, as well as other pro features also. So I select it. Also, you can uh, change the position of the player. Uh, right now, by default, it would be before content. But if you want to change the position, uh, you can do that. Uh, let's see. I want to display the player bottom fixed. And in this time, uh, you don't have to go to here because uh, these two player voice and language is same. And one important thing you have to remember this, these two player is built in speech synthesis API, which is browser API. And this browser API is implemented by different browser and different device differently. So the voice and language maybe uh, behave differently in different browser and different device. So what does it mean? Suppose I select uh, the default pro player and save it and uh, go to the listening menu and I select Google UK mail right and also select the language English GB oh uh, I, I already changed the position that's why it is here uh, it's uh, showing here so I mean desktop and also in Chrome browser so it will work properly as the voice I selected but with the settings it might not work uh, on mobile device on Firefox device or or Microsoft Edge uh, browser so it will behave different way uh, different it may it may change the voice UK to US voice so I, I want to ensure I want to inform you that uh, these two player is will behave differently that's why we introduced the Google TTS Pro so I will discuss about it uh, after some while let's see how it works uh, the default pro and you can see that default pro is on right position and hello world and it's reading properly also let's change the voice again to microsoft jira usa the language also usa Hello world. Welcome to the voice is a little bit machine like. So let's change to another one. Mark. Also the position. Bottom right. 
Cool. Yeah. Uh, this. Hello world. Welcome to Word. So uh, this is how the default pro will work. Uh, let me inform you that this player is only available in the pro version. This is not uh, in pre version. So let's select the Google TTS Pro. After buying this play, after the buying the pro version, uh, many of users don't understand uh, what, uh, how to select the proper player. So this is why I am creating this video. So as you can see that after saving this player. It says you have to go to the listening menu and as we did before and you can see right now the voice option is not there voice uh, select voice is not there you can choose only the language uh, if you are choosing uh, so my site language is English that's why I'm choosing here English so I'd like to select English United States save it and so let me inform you again that these three options will not work with uh, with Google TTS Pro as well as Google Cloud text to speech another thing that when you are using Google TTS Pro you don't have to integrate the Google Cloud text-to-speech so this is optional for uh, pro users this is not mandatory again this is optional this is not mandatory but this is mandatory when you are choosing the Google Cloud text-to-speech so if you are choosing Google TTS Pro this is not mandatory I hope you understand and uh, everything is set up now let's see how it behaves yes and the position is uh, we selected right bottom and the, uh, here, the player is on the right position hello world welcome to wordpress this is your first so here the voice is english usa if you want to change the voice English UK then you can just select the English UK and it will generate the mp3 file so click on it Yes, the MP3 file is generated. Hello world. Welcome to WordPress. Now you can see the voice is English UK. Uh, this is how works the Google TTS Pro. Again, there is no need to configure or integrate Google Cloud text to speech when you are selecting Google TTS Pro. This is uh, totally free for our pro users. There is no need to configure Google Cloud text to speech. But let's uh, choose the different one Google Cloud text to speech. Now, right now, this Google Cloud text to speech uh, will work with when you integrate the google uh, google cloud text to speech so i'll make a different video how to configure google cloud text to speech i already integrated it and save it i don't have to save or upload uh, the json file so 
I will make a different video about it. So right now I select the Google Cloud text to speech and I have to select the proper voice language and voice to speak. So as my site language is English, I select English and my voice will be English USA studio female sorry studio female English USC study female this will be my voice and oh, I already generate the mp3 file to reduce the time hello world welcome to wordpress this is your first post edit or delete it then start writing so you might say that why uh, these two player is different why I in, I introduce uh, these two player differently so if you don't like the voice uh, which is coming from Google TTS Pro uh, if you think that this is not suitable for your user you want to more realistic voice like google cloud text to speech provide that's why i introduce google cloud text to speech okay so and hence without that uh, without this uh, you can see that there are hundreds of voice for English but in Google TTS Pro uh, you have only four voice for English you can see that every one of them is English English Australia you can choose English Australia English uh, UK Great Britain English India and English India has many many voice every la English every language has many voice so you can choose every one of them um, one thing I can show you that uh, Google how to back up the mp3 file to Google Cloud text to speech Mm, so I'll make another video about it uh, this video might be too long but, uh, I'll make it uh, another video for this thank you so much this is how you have to select the right player for text-to-speech plugin thank you so much if you have any question regarding this Please feel free to ask, feel free to comment and if you are interested in pro version, I will give the link for the pro version in the description. Thank you so much again.